you must also cover three, four, five examinations so that you are in the safe zone in terms of getting the best college. So they actually have 10 campuses for it. The AEEE examination is the pathway to get into it. So they move for higher studies. The reason why the placement is high is because of the kind of scale at which they operate and the quality of students that they attract. Because you already prepared for those other examinations, which is JE or a state entrance examination, you have greater chance of cracking this examination and you at least secure your seat so that you ensure yourself. Hello students, Namaste, welcome to BTEC 360. As I keep saying, besides the JE examination that a lot of you people take and also possibly the state entrance engineering exam that you must take, you must also cover 3, 4, 5 examinations so that you are in the safe zone in terms of getting the best college. I've seen a lot of students who do not take some of the important examinations and when they don't get into the best engineering college, then they're all over the place and they don't have a plan to you know cover up for that. One of the exams that is very important, you know that after JEU and the state exams, you also possibly will do for a BITS examination and all. One of the important examinations that I want you to look at very closely is the Amrita Engineering Entrance Test, which is AEEE. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, I will detail it out to you uh, as I move along. If you want more details of this, of the, all the stuff that I'm about to say, please send me a message on this number, Amrita, A-M-R-A-T-A, and I'll send that entire ebook for you and more importantly please subscribe to btech 360 if you've not already done that this will be the single point destination for you if you are a btech aspirant and wanting to get into the best indian college possible coming back to the data of amrita engineering test what do we have here it's across 10 campuses is what you have amrita so the reason why i'm saying take this is because you have a lot more chances of getting into a decent indian college one is coimbatore of course uh, which is the university home page and then Amritapuri, which is in Kochi. Then you have one in Chennai as a campus. You have one in Amravati. Uh, it's a 100-acre campus. Amrita Faridabad, you have a campus. By the way, Amrita Faridabad hosts the biggest hospital in Asia, right? Then you have Amrita in Mysore, Bangalore, Kochi, Nagarkoil, and Haridwar. Recently, they started the Haridwar. So they actually have 10 campuses for a the AEEE examination is the pathway to get into it, right? So if you want any details, as I keep saying, send us a message, Amrita, and I'll be happy to send this entire ebook to you. Now, why do we recommend this? Look at Am Amrita Coimbatore, for which we have the data. It's established in 2003, so 23 years old, right? It's a deemed private university, 400 acres of land. Engineering ranking is 46th best engineering college in the country. The total students is 14,045. By the way, it's one of the most pristine campuses that you will see. You know, we've been to the campus where you actually have peacock and deer and all roaming around the campus. It's across a hillock if you notice that. So it's one of the best beautiful places that you will actually see if you go there. 75% are boys, 25% are girls, right? And about 67% come from outside the state, about 30% within the state. And 3% 3, 3 students come from outside the country also, which means that it is very well acknowledged outside the country also, right? Now, the Amritapuri campus is about, uh, uh, you know, uh, 80 acres and it's a constituent college of the Amrita University. It established in 2002, right? Then you have Amrita Chennai, 2019 established in 13 and a half acres of land. You have Amravati, 22, it is very recent, 100 acres of land. It is in, in the same area where SRM Amravati and VAT Amravati are also there. So, so it's pretty good and you actually have a very good education hub developing in Amravati, and this is around the same place. Then you have Faridabad, as I said, it's spread across 130 acres, but more importantly, of course they have a program, but they also host the biggest hospital in Asia, with about 2,000 beds or something like that. It's again a constituent college, established in 2023. Then you have Amrita in Mysore, established in 2006, uh, across five acres. Uh, you have Bangalore, again, 50 acres of land and you created that. Uh, um, so if you notice very carefully, they created in all those places where there's an IT hub or a tech hub so that they can actually place the students. That's very important for you to know, right? Then you have uh, Kochi in 125 acres of land and Nagarkoil. By the way, this is an acquisition for them. So this was established in 1999, but it became an Amrita campus in very recently across 110 acres of land, right? And Haridwar was established last year on 100 acres of land. Uh, it's a, again a constituent college of Amrita University. Now, what are the details? This is, uh, remember, this for Coimbatore campus is what we're talking of. We actually have total faculty of 1077, of which 835 are, you know, uh, PhD faculty, and 947 of 1077 are regular faculty, full-time faculty. So, part-time faculty is very, very less, and most of them are PhD faculty, right? Now, if you look at the details of, in terms of placements and all, uh, this is very important for you to understand. Now, about placements, in the year 23-24, they had 2,634 students and 
they were placed at 7.75 lakh 1879 students and 623 students actually choose to study higher so they moved for higher studies the reason why the placement is high is because of the kind of scale at which they operate and the quality of students that they attract uh, most of the companies go here because they know that they're going to find a decent number of students to recruit as much as the fact that because of the quality of the intake that you have they're also likely to find good quality students so which is where uh, you know amrita scores and a lot of good companies go for placement as far as this one is concerned and across the last three years if you notice they've been able to you know place most of the students if you remove those students who choose higher education right now if you look at data in a at a granular level in the year 23 24 2634 of which all graduated 1,879 were placed which is 93% placement at 7.75 lakh so 623 you know more for higher education but so out of uh, if you look at it 93% is what is placed if you remove this part of it right and that is a good number for a B.Tech college at this point in time which is what they seem to be achieving now you also have scholarships if you go through the AAA examination you also have a scholarship of up to 70% for AAA and JE mains of course, but AAA is what you should be looking at. And based on admission exam rank, AAA, you will actually get the first year scholarship, right? And in the succeeding years, awarded based on the CGPA. So you need to continuously, consistently perform so that you can get that. Now, what is the AAA examination pattern? It's online and remote proctor. So you don't need to move out of your home. You can still take the examination. It's two hours, 30 minutes, 100 questions, 300 marks, MCQs, three marks for each correct answer, negative one mark for each wrong answer. The subjects are mathematics, physics, chemistry, quant aptitude and English. So that's the subjects that you have and 300 marks is the thing. If you want a detail of the AAA examination pattern, subject and everything, again, you know, send me a message, Amrita on this number and we'll have that sent across to you. Now, the examination itself, the dates, it's the application is already live. Go to Career360 and you can actually click on the link and start applying. Uh, you know, you can actually send it across and people will reach out to you and they, they will ensure that you know everything about it before you apply, right? The first phase exam application form ends on Jan 15th and the phase 2 ends in March 26th. The slot booking is in Jan 10th for phase 1 and all, right? And the hall ticket, will you will get it in January itself. The exam is in Jan 29th to Feb 1st, right? For over 4 days. And uh, the results will come in the month of February. And for the next phase, it's in the month of May, right? And the counseling happens in sometime in the month of May. But the sooner you appear for it, you'll actually have a better chance because you'll know exactly where you stand. I always tell students who are a B.Tech student, see the subject, the pattern of the ex most examinations is normally similar. If you're preparing for J.E. or a state entrance examination, a similar syllabus actually ca gets carried forward. And if you do even a two, three days of work before you appear for any of these examinations because you already prepared for those other examinations which is JE or a state entrance examination you have greater chance of cracking this examination and you at least secure your seat so that you ensure yourself assuming your plan A which is getting into IIT, NIT doesn't function these are very, very good institutions for you to deal with and that's where we're recommending all these things and if you're not already subscribed BTEC 360 is your would be your single point destination at some point over a period of time because we're going to cover every single thing that happens in BTEC uh, so that you can get into the best college. So subscribe to BTEC 360 if you've not already done that. Thank you. Namaste.